Hi, I'm Ashley, and welcome to Tip Ticks. If you're new here, you just stumbled upon part five of a five-part series on how I took this motion graphics video and turned it into a PowerPoint presentation. Fear not though, each part focuses on a different section of the video and of the PowerPoint presentation, so you're not missing anything by starting here. You can always go back to the other ones. But in this video, I'll cover how I created the pencil drawn images and the ripped edge photo look all within PowerPoint. Let's take a look. So the first thing you wanna do is find an image with a main central focus. In this case, it's very clearly the bear. With this image selected, I'll go up to the picture format panel and hit remove background. If you haven't used this tool before, it can be a little bit finicky, but it's very simple to use. In the top left, there is a button to mark which areas you wanna keep, and there's a button to mark which areas you want to remove from your selection. So in this case, it did a pretty decent job other than the feet, so I will just mark those feet to keep, and we've got a pretty good cutout. With my bare cutout, I'll go to the format panel, and into the picture tab. And in picture color, I will pull the saturation down all the way so that it's only gray tones and no actual color. Then in corrections, I will increase the brightness and the contrast until it gives the tonality of a pencil drawing. Then I'll right click on my image and hit copy and right click anywhere on my page and hit paste special and paste this image as a PNG. This basically flattens all of our edits into a new image. To turn your image into a pencil sketch, select your flattened image and click picture format. Go to artistic styles and you have two different options to choose from depending on the look that you're going for. So you have pencil grayscale or pencil sketch. Once you've selected one, you can adjust the pencil size under artistic effects in the format panel to whatever your preference is. And voila, a very simple way of turning your photos into a pencil drawing all within PowerPoint. The second stylized photo that I used within this presentation has a ripped edge floating photo cutout kind of look. I actually did do the original one in Photoshop, so I'm just picking a random image of a cake to use as this example. I started off the same way, removing the background from a chosen image. So once that's been cut out, I will go to my shapes panel and hit scribble. Draw around the outside of the image, giving it a rough edge and some hard corners. Mimicking as if someone were to rip a piece of paper. If by the time you're done, it's not looking quite ripped enough, I do have a trick for you. Under your format panel, add a line to your shape. It doesn't matter what color. Then set the transparency of your stroke to 100%. Under sketch style, pick the bottom squiggliest line. And your shape now has a roughened outside edge. Next, find an image of crumpled paper that you like. You can do this within PowerPoint with their free stock imagery if you have 365, or you can find it on a free stock site. Once you've found your image, copy it, and in the format panel under fill, select picture or texture fill, source, and hit clipboard. Now your paper should appear as the background of your shape. You can go to the picture format tab and change it or crop it or adjust any corrections, brightness, contrast, color, anything like that. And then once it's how you like it, with that shape selected, go to effects, shadow, and add a little bit of a drop shadow to make it pop off the page. Then send it to back and group both the image and the background paper so you can animate it as a group however you'd like. I hope you enjoyed this video and the rest of my five part series on how to take an explainer style video and turn it into a PowerPoint presentation. If you did like the format of these, please comment below. I would love to hear from you and love to hear what you think. And of course, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate your support greatly. And thanks for watching. Have a good one.